Hey, how you doing? Coach T here, Huawei Be Great Community. Remember to like, subscribe, share this information. You find it valuable. I just got home from traveling all day. Been a great day. Been a great weekend. It's Motivational Monday. <laughs> Listen, the one thing that I would like to say, this may be a little bit longer than normal because I usually try and keep these very quick, like within a minute to two minutes. But I actually have something I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the fact that we have a relationship. We all are in relationships. And the one thing that we all have a relationship, no matter who you are, no matter where you live, no matter what race, culture, background you have, is a money relationship. We all have a money relationship. Some people have a good one. Some people have a bad one. Some people have a challenging one. Someone maybe seem like, you know what? It is what it is. However, you can change your relationship with a little bit of knowledge, understanding, and a plan and a path and implement. That's how you get better at stuff, right? Um, when it comes down to money, money is not your enemy. It's not your enemy, right? Um, it don't mean that you're evil if you want to have money and acquire money. Um, for a matter of fact, it actually make you good because if you have plenty of money, when your your parents get sick and they they did not have a retirement plan, they pull one k plan, don't quite <laughs> give them a quite enough money to pay for their their surgery, their health, their health care. You can do that because you have money. As your kids grow up, if you have money, you can send your kids to the best schools. You can buy your kids cars when it's time to buy them cars. You can give them advantages by paying for tutoring, by, you know, getting them coached by the best coaches, put them on the best teams, buy the best uniforms for the whole team as a donation. You know, with money, you can... Build a computer lab at the church. Donate money to a school to have a whole wing built on behalf of technology, STEM. Right? You can create scholarships. By having money, you actually do more good than bad. However, we associate money as bad and evil because a lot of us don't have it. So if we don't have it, then it's bad and it's evil. And those that do have it must did something bad, illegal, or wrong, or unethical to get it because I'm a good person and I don't have it. So how do they get it? You may agree, may disagree, right? They're just me and my thoughts. And I know how when I was younger, I kind of saw, observed, learned from my environment that, hey, in my neighborhood, you have the hells and have nots. And most of the ones that had it, had it based off of some kind of illegal activities. The other ones that had it, had it based off of partnering with other people that was probably smarter than them in an area that they weren't smart in, i.e. car salesmen, restaurants. But they are city council. They are, they are mayor. They are, they are a DJ personality. They are something else, but they partner with somebody else. At the same token, those people that they partner with, let's say a DJ personality, right? The car salesman may partner with a uh, DJ personality because guess what? Now I get more advertisement on the radio if I got a used car lot for used cars. At the same token, if they're throwing a party and I'm a used car salesman, and I decide that I want to invest with them into that party and make a residual income based off of them throwing a party, having fun. Um, let's say a, a, a famous celebrity, rapper, singer, artist coming to the city. They throw an after party, the DJ hosting it, the car salesman pitched in on buying the vineyard, they get a return of their money. Everybody made money. See how that work? So, again, Besides the ones that were selling drugs and, and 
you know, it's part of the game <laughs> that had their money, that however they made it. And you had other people that were making money. You know, hey, how you doing? So we all get a relationship with them. Not only that, you have parents. Some parents don't talk to their kids about money at all. Some parents talk to their money, their kids about money all the time. What kind of conversation are they having with their kids? Are they saying, I don't have, I don't, we can't afford, we can't get, well, I wish we could, we don't have the money like everybody else do? Or are those people having the conversation saying, um, you know what, if you turn off the, the lights and the bill go down by so much within the next three months, because we all chipped in by being more conservative, then we can probably go on a vacation at the end of those three months. So we have a quarter of saving money by changing our utility habits, and we go on a vacation, All right? Everybody pitched in now. Everybody has a, a built-in, a buy-in model for that to be successful. And sometimes we need to get everybody to buy in. Then you have those that don't want to talk about money at all. Hey guys, we don't talk money here. That's a sore subject. Y'all know we're struggling, so we're not gonna talk about it. So it's just gonna go away like it's a, like stick your head in the sand like an ostrich, all right? <laughs> so we're not gonna talk about it and it's gonna be okay. But when you go to school and you have the first of the school year, all those fees come out, you know how your parents talk. You know what they're saying. We're going to public school. Why are we paying for public school? Why it costs so much? Well, you may be able to play sports. You may not be able to do this because we're not going to have enough money for this, right? Sorry for beating a dead horse. However, we all know that these conversations for most of our households are similar to this. Now, you may have a parent like I am, one that want to meet with your child and play Monopoly, want to play life, want to sit down and go over a personal finance statement, want to get, sit down and go over a budget plan, want to tell your child, hey, create me a plan if you want to buy. If you want this, tell me what you're willing to do for it and how, right? <laughs> Those are over the top parents. <laughs> they just want to give you that, what they didn't have, or it worked for them when their parents get it to them. And they say, hey, since it worked for me, let me help you out and give it to you. All right, so what relationship you have with money? Do you have a negative one? Do you have one that your parents didn't talk to you about? Do you have one that's saying it's all evil because of whatever reason? Do you have one that's saying, hey, money can change the world. With my, with my profits, I literally can help a lot of people. With my profits, I literally can do for people I couldn't do for if I didn't have it. With these profits, you know, my parents can retire young and I take care of them. My significant other can retire young and I take care of them. My kids won't have to, have to work for anybody else. They can choose to. That's the type of attitude that I hope you have. I hope that's that kind of attitude that you think you can do. And if you need help with that, like, share, subscribe, get on my calendar, go to Investor Now 2021, click the link for a free coaching call. Let's sit down and talk about a plan and a path for you because I desire everyone to live their fulfilled life. I desire it for you, but you got to desire it for yourself. You got to take the action. I can tell you a plan and a path to help you out. I can give you a budget sheet, time management sheet, and other things to help you out. Yeah. However, you have to take the actions. You have to implement the plan and you got to work the strategy. <laughs> All right. So, got me a little poop coming towards me. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, I already knew. I knew it was going to come this way. What kind, of, what kind of that is? He's a mini Australian shepherd. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, different color. Very unique. <laughs> Pretty eye. Look at it. All right. So, yeah, have a good night. Hey, hey. All right, guys. All right. So, <laughs> bye bye <laughs> so <laughs> this coach T why wait to be great invest now grow your future invest now for later invest now and later look guys it's up to you 
There's no one else gonna do it for you. Not the government, not Biden, not Trump, not Obama. Nobody gonna do it for you. You have to do it for you and your family. You have to be the positive difference. You have to be the one. You have to be the one to change your family's trajectory. Stop putting it on everybody else and put it on you. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Think, 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 and take action, right? Think about it and then take an action. The action you take is creating a plan and a path. If you need help with a plan and a path, that's where I come in at. Let's create that plan and path. That's why I got coach all over me, right? I want folks to be successful. A coach want their players to be successful. The players must want to be successful by going out there and implementing the plan and running the play. Run the play. You're going to see the results. You may not see it immediately like you would like to, like the microwave oven, right? <laughs> right? You got to do, do some slow cooking on this one. But when you get it, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I got it. The best analysis I can use is when is the best time to plant a shade tree? You can't plant a shade tree today and expect the tree to grow overnight. You have to plant the tree so it can grow. And when it grows, it's usually be like 30 years later, 20 years later, depending on how tall and how short you are or whatever, you know. But it does happen over time. The goal is to plant several shade trees of all types of styles so that you can be growing in every which direction where you'll have some shade. Shade is at that last moment when you retire from work, you're not selling. You have it already made in the shade, drinking Kool-Aid because you did the right things early in life to make your money make money. All right, guys, I hope that made sense. Sorry just shaking because I'm holding my phone in my hand. Hopefully you can just listen to my voice and hear what I'm saying and it makes sense. Take care, Coach T. Why wait to be great? Invest now, grow your future. Why wait to be great? Facebook community, goal over achievers. All right. Please subscribe. Come to my channel. You know, I try and drop gems in there. I try and post positive stuff in there, thinking stuff in there, funny stuff in there, all types of stuff. And I always challenge you to walk one mile a day. At minimum one mile. I just drove in. Been up all day, got out my car, unpacked, came out here and started walking immediately. That's what's more important to me, get that one mile in today, shoot this recording, and push forward. Take care, why wait to be great, best now, for later.